Keating to the far side, Quinn drops it for Gareffa. Gareffa, rink wide, Rossi scores! Here in the second. 67, short-handed, Rossi! Hello and welcome to another edition of Let's Watch. In this video, we're looking at a recent game of Marco Rossi with the Austrian team. So let's dive in. Like we did in previous videos, we're going to break down some of Rossi's shifts. He wears number 23. So to start the game, Rossi has an offensive zone sequence. He takes this face off and wins it with some help from his teammate. The puck gets rimmed back down. His defenseman pinches as a, and as Rossi is F3, he covers high for his defenseman, moves high as he pinches down. Let's rewatch this. So there's a retrieval sequence. Rossi finds space high in the slot, but his teammate is immediately pressured by the defenseman, so he couldn't reach Rossi. Now the puck moves high. Rossi screens the goaltender. He gets inside positioning on that defenseman. And again, a really nice puck protection sequence from Rossi and a very deceptive pass. So let's rewatch this. Puck gets rimmed down. Rossi makes sure that this defenseman can't make a play on the puck because uh, it really creates a pocket of space in which to, to handle it. He turns his back to the defenseman, gets in a really, really low athletic position. So it's very hard for that defenseman to reach the puck. And he just sees that teammate in the corner of his eye and makes the pass. This is the second shift. Rossi is changing on the fly. He's in the middle of the ice right there, just protecting the slot. The Austrian defensive system is really all about regrouping around the middle of the ice in the defensive zone. Now that there's a rush chance, all three forwards move, move up a bit too far. Now Rossi really has to back check. Yeah, no, let's rewatch this. So Rossi moves really far thinking that he might get the spark on the far post, but he doesn't. So he really has to back check fast because this is now a three on two, but he just stops striding right there. So he was maybe a stride away, two strides away, two strides away from making a defensive play, but he just lets number 24 get that puck and make a, a pass to the near post and it's a goal against. So this is partly Rossi's fault on this. This is another power play sequence. Rossi is again on the half wall and mishandles that puck and now looks to the middle for a play but nothing is open. So that was a nice deceptive pass. He looked at the top of the zone and passed it across but the fact that he looked off his target kept the lane open. That's why he managed to trade the puck. And a goal. Okay, well, let's rewatch this. So the power play really gets attracted to the one side of the ice. Rossi takes advantage of the space. He fakes a pass to his teammate in the middle of the ice. You can see his shoulder position and uh, his hand position, even his head. He's really looking toward that teammate. That defenseman is trying to cut the pass, so his stick is not in the lane. And what he does with his shot release, instead of uh, really dragging this, this puck far back and in front, he really leans toward his stick. So this allows him to fire uh, almost from his back foot immediately. So nice shot placement, nice release, and nice deception right there. Now a defensive zone faceoff that Rossi wins, but the other team four checks and steals the puck. The Austrian team is regrouped in defensive formation. They steal the puck at the top of the zone, but it comes back to the other team. So usually uh, their defensive formation it is really sending one defender up to the puck area and the other team just regroups around uh, the slot, around the net, especially when the puck moves low. So Rossi is in the middle of the ice right there, puck moves below the goal line, he's really in front of the net. Uh, it doesn't matter that he's double covering the, this guy in their system, I think, from my read of it. It's really just one-on-one -on -one defense and the other team regroups on the slot. He goes stick on puck for forces uh, pass to, up to the top. And now sticks with his man. Buck moves low again, so he descends near the net. Again, it's one on one. His team wins that puck, so he supports a breakout, stays in the passing lane. And yeah, let's rewatch this. So this is a breakout. Rossi doesn't get out of the zone, he controls his speed, provides a passing option to his defenseman, which is the reason why he got that puck, but he doesn't have much space when he gets it. He could one touch 
this up to his teammates. He pre-scanned for them, you saw it before, but there's just not, <laughs> passing lane is pretty hard to reach and there's not much space. So he just pulls it in his skate and still finds his teammate up ice, kind of. So some good problem solving right there. Stick handling and tight. He has a lot of skill. Now Rossi and his line are on the attack. This puck gets dumped in. Rossi four checks. But now he sees two forwards low, so he moves high. Which allows his defenseman to bench if they want, which is exactly what happens. And because as defenseman put pressure on the that opposing forward, uh, Rossi receives a lob that he turns into a shot on net. Again, a forechecking sequence, so Rossi remains high. This allows his defenseman to get involved in the play. Pass low. Rossi takes a drive, passes to his defenseman. So let's rewatch this. It's really just a simple play, but uh, because Rossi really commit, commits to that drive, he fakes uh, wanting to do a shot on that to, or, or attacking the slot. He collapses the building formation on him, which creates more space for his defenseman to get closer for a shot on that. Now rushes the net for a rebound. So he finishes his play at the net, makes the pass, he doesn't stop there, goes to the net. Nice sequence from him. In this sequence, it's a regroup or control breakout. Well, he's up ice at 2 on 1. Okay, let's rewatch this. So this is a long breakout. Our two fours are up ice, stretch pass works, and Rossi is attacking with speed, he slows down, but he already sees that his teammate is sending that puck in his skates. He can't use his back end, he can't uh, put his stick in front of him, so he prepares this, this reception, uh, moves his stick really low to his skates, and immediately, you know, like, this is very hard reception to make, and he turns this into an immediate shot on that, so. A really high skill play, turning a difficult reception into a pretty good shot on that. And there's another, this is really a detail, like it doesn't matter too much, but I like that. He can't be involved in this play in any kind of way, but he still makes sure to take the, the stick of the D away just to create this little bit more space for, for his teammate to drive in and fire the net. So, kind of like this. Pre scans. Okay. Let's rewatch this. So he's supporting his teammate right there and he pre-scans for options as he gets the spot. Really good habit. But like the, the, the lane is not there, but he doesn't have any kind of other play he could make. He could escape with that puck uh, behind the goal line maybe, but it was a decent attempt. I like that he scan anyway. That's another offensive zone faceoff that Rossi takes. Not sure if he wins this, but the puck ends up to his team anyway. Nice deflection attempt. And a very powerful cutback. So let's rewatch this. Buck moves high, Rossi moves to the net, the car response. I think he hits that buck mid-air. But it's really what happens on the wall that's interesting. So Rossi doesn't stop on that buck. As soon as he touches it, he moves up ice toward the point. But it's really the second move that creates most of the separation. So he senses that the defenseman on his back is pressuring hard, uh, he senses that he's on his right shoulder, so as soon as he moves high enough, he, he plants his uh, outside edge of his left skate to really create a cutback. And look at the depth of his cutback, so he's, his head is below the boards, I think, it's hard to tell with the camera angle, but it's very low cutback, he has a lot of depth, a very athletic position, so he creates a lot of separation of, on this cutback. And he doesn't try and accelerate down because he sees that there's another a defenseman that's coming to him. So he has two defensemen on him. That means that someone else is open. So he just moves the puck. It moves high again. And <laughs> let's rewatch this. Doesn't really matter, but like the, the puck moves high. Rossi senses the point shot coming. So he wants space. What does he do? He just shoves the defenseman away. So. If that puck had made his way to, to the net, its way to the net, Rossi would have been first on a rebound. So nice move still. Puck moves low. He again attempts to create a pocket of space by turning his back, but he mishandles the puck. 
goes back to the front of the net. This is default response when the uh, button was high. And again, a rim, another nice seal. Okay, let's rewatch it again. So this is a race. Uh, Rossi really seals the puck with the help of his, of his skates. And even under pressure, he still checks for support. So uh, that puck is currently in his skates somewhere. He's going to push this up to his stick and try a backhand pass. But first he looks and it's, this is very projectable. And all the skills you see from Rossi right there, the, the, the cutbacks, the, the turning his back to the defenseman to create a pocket of space, the shoulder checking inside pressure, those are all very projectable skills and habits and things that are going to serve him very well in the NHL. Takes this puck in movement and he creates a shot. So at least one good scoring chance from Rossi right there and a second one. Let's rewatch this. This off puck sequence is really interesting too because like uh, Rossi is in the right spot. He's playing between checks. He doesn't, he's not glued to a defender. He's really hunting space. <laughs> he's even signaling to his teammate that he's open. So uh, that's something good too. And I really like that as soon as he, uh, he doesn't drive the net before a puck comes. He, he waits for the pass to really attack it to, so he gets some momentum. It's going to help him fire and elevate the puck. It's going to help him not get checked. So he wants to surprise the defenseman, the defender next to him, and he does. But he also, like, he doesn't know that number nine is not going to check him. So he raises a stick to attempt a stick lift. So in case number nine go, comes close to him, uh, Rossi, it, has already the stick lift ready, so he would have uh, neutralized the number nine stick and still get his own on the puck. And this was a really great scoring chance, just rams the goalie, but this could have won him. He's again in front of the net, coaches will like that. <laughs> just a really nice sequence from Rossi with so many projectable skills, timing, physical skills, shoulder checking habits, a lot of things you really like to, to see. And he hasn't played in a while, so these are all habits he conserved from his time in the OHL and from his careers, and careers of now, so it's really ingrained inside him. Puck moves below the goal line, and from the forward that just ran up ice, probably going to be a stretch play, yes. Rossi comes in underneath and finds the shooting lane, so let's rewatch this play. So the Austrian <laughs> team really likes their stretch plays, kind of play baseball in some ways but because this puck deflected on the very high forward for the descent up ice Rossi comes in underneath with a lot more speed than the opposing defense that's kind of flat-footed in this instance so this helps him find the shooting line but he's also firing in stride so he makes a few stick hunting moves and as soon as he puts his left foot down he fires this puck so really good scoring chance and he was deceptive and approaching it so we like that is again in front of the net. This is probably an ask from the Austrian coach. He always wants someone in front of the net. This is a two on one. Uh, Rossi gives a passing option. Let's rewatch this. So the back of the net is really a prime spot for playmakers. All defensemen, all defenders have their heads pointed at you, so you can make plays behind their backs. I just have to find the passing lane, but there's no passing lanes in this instance for Rossi. So what does he do? He looks through layers, tries and find the right play. He doesn't force plays. So it's it's as important to judge a prospect on the play he doesn't make, that he, that he doesn't force, as the ones that he does make. And he just holds the puck and finds a defenseman. It's probably the best scoring chance he could have made in this instance. And another one. So let's rewatch this. Okay, this is the first one he creates. And now you want players to go to the front of the net, especially when the puck is below the goal line, but Rossi knows that number nine, you know, the defender in the middle of the ice is going to check him if he rushes the net. So instead he uh, skates back, he creates receiving space, shooting space. Uh, he, this does, he doesn't improve the, qual the, the location of his shot, the threat of his the scoring chance, but at least by skating back, it creates enough space to um, 
fire a quality shot on that, which he would not have been able to with a defender on his back. So this is anticipation and manage, managing receiving space. Some higher um, expressions of hockey sense, if I can put it that way. Rossi is in the defensive zone in this sequence, in the middle of the ice. His team plays kind of a box right there. Center stays in the middle. And his winger creates a turnover. So Rossi attacks up ice. He's one on one, two on one with. Okay, let's rewatch this. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should have that, Rossi. So he scans for support and awareness, shoulder checking habits. And instead of just trying to go one on one with this defender, what so many forwards would do in this instance, Rossi uses his teammate. Uh, that, that defenseman is now forced to respect uh, his teammate too and turns his feet, which creates space for Rossi and also uh, a better shot location. Uh, not really shot location, but the goalie is also forced to respect his teammate in this instance. So Rossi gets a better look when he, he does get that puck. And he has so much net to fire at, or maybe not. Like this was a nice uh, lateral move from the goalie, but still. I really like how Rossi went about creating the scoring chance. Like you could tell that he knew what was what was going to happen if he passed to his teammate, that he would create more space for him and maybe more net to shoot at. So it's manipulation abilities through passing right there. Again, hockey sense. Another defensive zone draw. Another defensive zone draw that Rossi takes. He loses that one. He's in the middle of the ice right there. Covering it. This defenseman goes to pressure the puck area. So Rossi switches. He's now covering number nine. A good rotation on his part. Now the puck moves high, so he also moves high. And his team recovers the puck. So this is now a breakout. So Rossi gets closer to provide a short passing option. His defenseman, his defenseman loses the puck, but a nice stick lift from him. A cut back and yeah, let's rewatch this. So it supports that defenseman. He loses the puck, but Rossi is right there. So in a great, in a great position to stick with. Sends that puck into space, wins that race, attracts two four checker and creates space for his defenseman to now make this exit. And let's rewatch it for another reason. So we didn't really talk about Rossi's stride all that much, but uh, it probably improved still because now he hits all the right notes, so he has great ankle flexion, knee bend, his back angle is pretty good. Uh, maybe his butt might be a bit raised as he skates, maybe he's a bit hunched over, but it's really a, a detail. Like I don't think skating is any kind of a concern anymore for him, especially because he has such good separation tool, um, such a good cut, cut back, he's more explosive. So you can tell that he worked at it during the offseason. His skating, that is. So at the end, we usually review the strengths and weaknesses of a prospect. But in the case of Rossi, as this is a preseason game, I prefer to point out what seems to already function very well in this game and what he needs to work on in the Wilds training camp. So I thought Rossi was really good at seizing offensive chances in this game. He manipulated defenders, deceived them, and used teammates to improve scoring chances. He also found ways to get shots off in difficult situations and showed moments of effective anticipation. I like how he supported teammates in this game, offensively and defensively. He gave them great passing options and ran the right routes on the ice. I also think Rossi's skating improved a bit in the offseason. His form looked better and his cutbacks were powerful. He created a lot of separation with them. His handling technique was also extremely precise. He turned difficult pass receptions into shots and other passes. You can really tell that he worked to get back to form in the past months. Of course, Rossi didn't have his full playmaking timing back, and he missed some rotations. In the next few months, I think he will become a much more efficient creator, just like he was in the OHL as he regains his feel for the game. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel to not miss the next one.